Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about iNav 4.0. Uh, just a quick tip really for those of you that are using the GGI HD FPV system. Now I'm in the middle of setting up this model here. This is a HeWing Ranger T1. It's a little twin plane and it doesn't have uh, flaps or anything but I really like the HeWing F01, also available as a Diatone Ripper. I got this in a slightly darker foam, which is about 50 grams heavier than the white version. But the reason I want to kind of show you this is because I was playing and setting up iNav in here and found that you can actually, in iNav 4.0, see exactly what OSD elements are available from uh, iNav to your DJI FPV kit. If I just plug this in, jump onto the computer, click connect, then in here, there's a plane, all the different pieces. The bit I want to show you is in here, on-screen display. Now, normally in on-screen display, you have the full range of everything listed and you have to kind of figure out what is and what isn't supported by the DJI HD FPV system. It's only a subset. I did a video that talks about why that's the case because the way it works is that it uses a very basic set of MSP or multi wee serial protocol that sent the goggles and then the OSD is created over there. However, just untick this for a moment. In this screen, you will see that this is the way it tends to look, right? So you have all these different things and you've got different alternative layouts you can have and all that jazz. However, now in iNav 4.0, what you can do is you can scroll down here on the right hand side and there's a whole area dedicated to DJI HD FPV. And if you turn that on, all the things that are listed here are the stuff that is available in your on-screen display. So RSSI, battery voltage, cell voltage, throttle position, throttle position, auto throttle, craft name, fly mode, system messages, ESC temperature, altitude, numeric variometer, crosshairs, horizon sidebars, pitch angle, roll angle, current draw, milliamp power draw and efficiency, ground speed, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through it all because you can see it on the screen. There's only a couple of things over here now. Uh, there is the source of the ESC temperature, the source of the RSSI, the ground speed, which you can have between um, the ground speed, which is directly from the GPS or 3D or air. And then you can use the craft name uh, for messages and additional elements. Uh, the craft name can also in iNav, they, they've been doing this for a while now, is you can have it showing uh, status messages and loads of other things. This is a workaround because DJI has, once they got the basic MSP implementation done for the on-screen display, just kind of left it up to everyone else to try and work out everything else. So this is how it all works. I just thought it was really interesting to show you because now if you are a DJI HD FPV pilot and you've never been sure about what is and what isn't supported by just coming in here and turning on hide unsupported elements all the stuff that you can't access is taken away, but more importantly, it allows you to very easily see exactly what is what. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that have the DJI HD system. I'm going to be updating most of my models with the DJI HD FPV stuff in it to iNav 4. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.